What does thinking look like? That is a question that I've been exploring for the last while, and it began by trying to collect my own thoughts. So for the last three years or so, I've collected in excess of 35,000 digital fragments of various media types, um, each one corresponding to a thought, a moment, an experience, and arrange them in a complex, dynamic digital archive of ideas. The original impulse for this archive was really born of an anxiety, an anxiety associated to hoarding ideas in notebooks, static on pages in piles and cupboards, or deep on a hard drive, and I wanted to find a way to give each of these ideas certain agency and independence, a capacity to collide with others, and potentially form constellations or families, and effectively uh, evolve my own thinking. So what's emerged over the last, again, three years, is essentially a container for thoughts, but not one like this that's rigid, nor one that is hierarchical like this, but something that is actually in motion, that is swirling, uh, an ecosystem of ideas. Underpinning the architecture or the logic of this environment is essentially something very simple, which is a network of associations. By network, I just mean a complex web of relationships between independent elements, and Association is really my personal response to each one of these fragments, which is to say I annotate digitally each one of these things based on what they remind me of, what they make me feel, et cetera, et cetera. The implication of this is a monstrous jumble that is also whoops, whoopsie, expertly navigable. On a day-to-day -day basis, this has had actually quite a significant effect on, on my life. Um, for one, this has become effectively an extension of my own memory, kind of organic in a way. I'm effectively in conversation with my own thoughts. One of the things I can do with this is track trains of thoughts in a private context or potentially in spaces like this, employ an abundance of images to facilitate the articulation of idea. That is as an extension of gesture. So images in this case used either obliquely or directly to try to say something more than the words themselves could say, to show something in addition to what I can articulate in word alone. In a, whoopsie, let's go back to, oh, this does happen, and I'll roll with it. So, because we're right near the end. But either way, I've described a pragmatic sort of implication of this on a more philosophical sense. Uh, what I've described earlier as an anxiety associated to hoarding has turned into something quite different. Collection now means something of a making. Making in the sense that I'm in contact with my own ideas, making in the sense that I can traverse this archive as if it's the library of my own mind, making in the sense that thinking is effectively a form of play, a form of travel. Thank you very much. Yeah.